Hello and welcome to the third tutorial of the Centrus Ticket S process. Um, to begin the S process file, we need to understand four kind of file: the .cmd file, .txt file, .pnd.txt file, and .plx file. .cmd file generally has the command file of the S process. .txt file save the device figure. .pnd.txt file generally create the boundary, and .plx file is to see the doping behavior. That means doping concentration with depth okay let's try to simulate this figure here it is the total portion is the silicon wafer and first of all we create the substrate where we doped it with boron and then we we do a implantation with arsenic that means the arsenic is n type and the substrate is p type okay so to begin this this scenario we need to declare the grid first uh, for simplicity, we just we just explaining the one D portion of this figure. Okay, so we take the length of the wafer as two micrometer. Okay, and we have to declare a silicon top and silicon bottom portion, and we declare some spacing here. That means when the x location is zero the grid spacing will be one nanometer and with the increase of x location the grid spacing spacing will be larger and this scenario is clear in that particular graph here if we look at the x axis we can see with increase of x location the grid spacing spacing become larger and larger it is easier to easier to understand in here particularly we declare the silicon top and silicon bottom that means we create a grid of two micrometer where we create various spacing spacing of grid suppose it is a box of um, here as it is a 1d structure suppose it is x axis structure we start from zero micrometer here and this is two micrometer that means here is zero micrometer and here is two micrometer there are various grid in the middle of it plus the grid are specific spacing is the grids are really close to close to each other and with that increase of length the grid specific spacing is become larger and larger so okay actually the grid is quite similar to this figure okay and next after declaring this grid we have to initialize by how we can initialize the simulation we call region silicon x low with equal to the silicon top and x side equals to the silicon bottom that means we create this box okay let me draw a blue box we create this blue box where the upper portion is the silicon top and the bottom portion is the silicon bottom and this is the zero micrometer and this is two micrometer okay then we initialize the concentration of fill equals to boron that means it's just p type and the concentration is 1 to the power 15 okay then we have to mesh it to use the meshing we can use this set of line width set dot minimum dot normal dot size and set dot min set dot normal dot growth dot ratio dot putty okay this three nanometer means in the interface section the meshing will be 3 nanometer and if we go far from the interface region the fluid spacing, spacing will be become larger and larger at a rate of 1.4 okay so at the interface the uh, the grid spacing will be spacing will be larger and with the increase from the interface region the grid spacing will be larger and larger okay and then 
with this line of code we are creating a oxide layer okay so at first we declare a gas flow named o2 underscore one underscore n2 underscore one which means that it is a gas mixture of oxygen and nitrogen okay and their weight is 1.2 liter per minute and 1.0 liter per minute okay that means we have a gas flow which name is o2 underscore one underscore n2 underscore one and which consists of two type of gas oxygen and nitrogen and it is flowing at a pressure of the environment pressure one atmosphere and then we diffuse it with a temperature of 900 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes of time and we declare the gas flow here that means over the silicon top layer we have an oxide layer just like this okay let's draw it in another color okay it is the oxide layer uh, the way we created the oxide layer is quite difficult compared to the deposit one it can be more easier with the deposition so for case of deposition we just have to declare the deposit material equals to oxide type isotropic there are mainly two types of depositing isotropic and anisotropic anisotropic means it will deposit only in a particular way isotropic will create the oxide layer to go it will spread the depositing layer okay then we have to declare the time and weight yeah. the rate means the rate means here it is 10 micrometer okay after that we have the yeah. diffuse we have the diffuse temperature called 900 Celsius and time equals to 40 minutes okay and after that we need to implant the arsenic layer okay to implant the arsenic layer we need to declare the energy then we have to declare the dose where we use 1 into the 40 centimeter per stone at a tilt of 7 degree and the rotation of 0 degree so if we run this code we will get a this sort of figure in a 1d dimension to demonstrate easily i give you a 2d image but it will produce in a 2d dimension to produce 2d in the 1d grid we have to declare the line y location and the spacing spacing here and to create implantation here to here we need a thing called marks that we will see in our next video